The number one question that I get asked on YouTube right now is, Rob, what do I need to do differently in order to go viral on YouTube Shorts? Or just how can I go viral on YouTube Shorts? Because so many of you guys are seeing your competitors go viral or you're seeing your favorite creator go viral and you're wondering how you could do the same exact thing. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you exactly how you could do that. In fact, this creator just implemented the tips and got over a million views in a niche that doesn't go viral. And this creator got over 500,000 views, again, in a niche that doesn't go viral. But before we could dive into that, I need you to smash that subscribe button. If you wanna grow quicker on YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, I literally upload a video every single day about how to grow on these platforms. So please make sure you smash that subscribe button because you're not gonna to wanna to miss another one of my videos. The first thing that we need to take into consideration is the actual size of the niche that you're going after and what kind of content you're actually creating within that. Because if you're talking about something that's super specific, well, that's why you're not going viral. Because at the end of the day, if you wanna go viral on YouTube, it's really what you need is you need a million people that are actually gonna be interested in the piece of content that you're creating. And if you're creating content about how to set up an LLC, well, a million people aren't gonna be interested in that today, which is why that post isn't going to go viral. That is something that could rank for search. That's something that could get a million views over a few years, but happening today, right after you post it, it's probably not gonna happen. And that's the expectation that so many of you guys are setting for yourselves, that you wanna go viral right now and you're gonna upload this video, but you haven't even thought through whether or not your niche is eligible to go viral. So what I need you to do, compare yourself to other creators within your niche. Are those other creators going viral? What are they uploading to go viral? And I bet that you're gonna notice that they're doing the next two things that I'm about to share with you. The next thing that we need to think about is the actual topic that you're about to post on because just because your niche is big doesn't mean the topic that you're about to post on is going to be big. For example, if I make a video about how to go viral on YouTube, guess what? It's going to get more views than if I make a video about how to get more views on YouTube. Why? Because going viral is a more viral topic and that's just going to end up getting more views and you're probably wondering right now, Rob, how on earth can I actually know how big the audience size is for the topic that I'm about to talk about? And that is where we need to thank today's video sponsor, vidIQ. I never create a YouTube video without first logging into vidIQ, searching for the topic that I'm about to talk about and seeing how big the search volume is for that. Not even just stopping there, I then click into that keyword and guess what it shows me? It shows me trending videos for that. So now I have a title to compare to, I have a thumbnail to compare to, and I have an audience size to compare to. If everybody else that has uploaded under that keyword in the last week has gotten 20,000 views, well then guess what? That's how many views I can expect to get. If everybody that's posted under that for you has gotten a million views, well then guess what? There is a shot that you're post can actually go viral. But if there's only 80,000 people interested in that topic, then you can't actually expect your post to go viral. But this is exactly why I strongly recommend that you go to the link in the pinned comment below right now and sign up for vidIQ. You can get started today for just $1. And this is the most valuable thing that you could ever possibly use for YouTube because it's going to tell you how many views you can actually expect to get before you even upload. Well, it's not literally gonna tell you that, but you guys get what I'm saying here. You're gonna be able to actually determine the potential audience size. So this is gonna help you come up with better content ideas. In addition to that, vidIQ also has an AI title generator and they send you daily topic ideas within your dashboard. And guess what this means? This means that you don't have to come up with new video topics anymore because you can leverage vidIQ's AI to actually do this for you. And it's going to help you get more views and it's going to help you get more subscribers. What are you waiting for? I literally do not create a video on YouTube without using this tool. And I suggest that you shouldn't either. Go to the link in the pinned comment below and sign up right now. Get started today for just $1. Now, before I share with you exactly how you can solve everything that we just chatted about, even if you're in a niche or you're posting about a topic that isn't something that normally goes viral, how you can solve those things, we need to chat about the third thing, which is going to be the actual frequency for which you're uploading content. Let me give you a perfect example. If the audience size for a piece of content you're about to upload is 80,000 people and you have one creator who uploads one time a month, that video might get 80,000 views. But if you have a second creator that uploads four times a month, each of their videos might get 10 to 30 30,000 views. And this is just naturally what is going to happen. And you guys need to understand this. So you cannot compare yourself to other people that upload way less than you. That's why they get more views per video than you. If you upload more frequently, you're going to have more sporadic views and some of them will do really well and some of them won't do really well. And that's just going to be the way that the cookie crumbles. And it's going to be totally based on though, the topic and the niche that you're chatting about and how often you create content on it. Now, at this point, you're probably wondering, Rob, but how the hell do I actually solve that? Well, there are two ways for you to solve this. And just because I'm gonna tell you how to solve it doesn't necessarily mean that I think that you should solve it. For example, and this will kind of give away one of the tips. If I made videos about how Mr. Beast goes viral or how A-Rack goes viral, guess what? I would get a lot more views on my content because I would be stealing their authority, putting it into my videos, talking about the thing, and it would end up with me getting more views. But would those views be qualified people that wanna buy the services that I offer? No. 
Probably not. Are those people ever going to watch one of my other videos? No, probably not because those people are going to be interested in Mr. Beast or those people are going to be interested in ARAC. Now, like I just said, that doesn't work for what I'm doing, but for what you're doing, it might make total sense, which is why the first thing you need to do is news jacking or trend jacking. I'll give you a perfect example of this. If you're an attorney, if you're talking about copyright law, that is not going to get a lot of views. If you're talking about how to properly form a business, it's not going to get a lot of views. But if you talk about how the Kardashians do this or how Donald Trump has done this, well then guess what? Now you're going to get a lot of views. And the second thing that you could be doing is latching on to an authority. The way that you do this is you begin talking about other people. For example, Mr. Beast. For example, Fox News or whatever the case is. It could be CNN, it could be anything. But what you need to do is you need to latch on to companies, you need to latch on to people, you need to latch on to brands that already have brand authority. And then what you're able to do is extract away from that an audience and ultimately you end up going viral or you end up getting a lot of views because now you just took your little topic or your little niche and attached it to something else and one plus one equals a million. All of that being said, if you want to get guaranteed subscribers on YouTube right now, well, then keep watching this video because I've got a special offer for you. The opportunity to grow on YouTube and this organic reach that we're currently seeing is not going to last forever. And there are two things holding you back right now. The first one is that you haven't implemented everything that I just shared with you in this video. And the second is that you haven't gotten into my YouTube mentorship program yet, which literally is going to guarantee that I help you get more subscribers on YouTube in the next 30 days, or you get your money back, zero questions asked. In fact, the average person that's gone through this program in the last 30 days has gained over 31,000 subscribers. And the lowest amount of subscribers anybody has ever gained is a thousand subscribers if they implement everything that I share with them in this video. If you want results like that, please go to the link in the description below and sign up right now. Because if you're still watching this video, I'm going to guess that you're above average. So the odds of you getting over 31,000 subscribers is probably quite high. And if you don't remember, you need a thousand subscribers in order to get monetized on YouTube. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to make more money from YouTube and for you to set yourself up to become a full-time YouTuber. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly what to post, when to post, what hashtags use again to guarantee that you get more subscribers on YouTube. If you don't get more subscribers in the next 30 days, I will give you your money back zero questions asked. And it doesn't matter what your background is or what your niche is. This program is designed to help you get more subscribers faster and easier. Ultimately, it's going to get you more subscribers or your money back. This creator just went through it and gained over 100,000 subscribers. This creator, over 150,000 subscribers. And this creator, over 400,000 subscribers. And I want you to be my next success story. And I want you to be the next person that makes a full-time living from you. YouTube. So please go to the link in the description below, sign up right now. You literally have absolutely nothing to lose. You're going to get more subscribers or you're going to get your money back. If you're not interested in those two things, please watch the next two videos I put up on the screen because they're the videos YouTube thinks you should watch next. Thank you so much for watching.